this year at Halloween time, instead of putting together some appropriately hued pillar candles and, you know, maybe putting one of the rings around them or something, why not let them send a message? Now, what do I mean by that? Well, let's get rid of our ring and just start turning these candles around. We have a B, a little O, and this one is blank, but I think you have some idea where I'm going with this. I'm putting together my Halloween boo which I think is really cute. And basically to do this, all I've done is I went to the computer, looked through the different fonts and printed out a bunch just to try to see which one seemed most appropriate for me. Um, I kind of like the top one. Actually, there were several that I liked, but when I thought about the fact that I was going to try to make these out of pins, these are the heads of, you know, sewing pins, I had to be a little bit more careful which design I chose. So I picked the first one and it wasn't quite large enough, so I blew it up. As you can see right here is the B, a couple of O's, and all I've done to transfer this letter to the candle is I took my little cutout, figured out where I wanted to place it on the candle, had to hold on to it a little bit, and then took my pins, Let's see if I can get this open. And I kind of wanted to scratch into the surface the shape of the letter. And to do that, maybe, maybe you can still see it when I hold it like so. I just took the pin, you know, the tip of the pin, and I pushed in here and made a mark, pushed in, made a mark, and I went all the way around my letter, making little tiny pinholes, made a straight line down here, finished off the circle, and had enough inscription in the wax that I was able to follow it with the pinheads. And certainly this dark area would be something that you would just fill in on your own. Now the other little detail here is that you need to, you know, this is one heck of a long pin to try to stick into this candle. So I got a pair of wire cutters and, I don't know, maybe cut off more than half made a little cut and now my pin is only this size and I am able to take that and put you know 50 of them right into the candle to create the designs. Now I know that's kind of a quick explanation but you can check out our project sheets too. Print them and then follow all the detailed instructions and I'm anxious to see what kind of messages you can come up with. Boo to you.